Good afternoon, everybody. We're here today at Holcombe Bay it's along the North Norfolk coast. It's a very cold January Saturday afternoon. And as you can see, we've got lovely, lovely blue sky. And yeah, so we're just going to take a walk along the beach. The beach is a very fast area. Sometimes you have to walk about a mile down to the actual seafront. Um, but we see there's lots of, lots of people here today as well. There usually is all through the seasons, but because of the size of the, the actual beach, you can spread yourself out nicely. You have people come to walk the dogs, you have horse riders. And this area is, is really known for, for its bird watching. There's lots of, obviously a lot of water birds, waterfowl birds. Uh, so lots of people come with their massive <laughs> cameras. Absolutely massive so that they can zoom miles away to capture these these birds uh, yeah so we're just going to take a, a walk along the beach and then well, we're in sort of like the dunes area at the moment and dunes. Dunes. Well, dunes. 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 <laughs> you've got a choice of what you want to do at Holcombe Bay you can just walk straight down to the the seafront sometimes you have quite quite a way to walk if the tide is right out you have quite a way to walk um, you've got just like the dunes part here and then you've got the woodland area pine many pine trees but you've also got numerous paths that you can take and if you go if you go over to that way you can walk to Wells, very popular beach at Wells and but if you carry on going this way around, I think that takes us at um, Burnham Staves I think and if you keep on walking you can end up at Hunstanton, um, Brancaster and, and that way. Uh, yeah so you, you, a choice of where you go and what you do. It's one of our favourite beaches anyway, and it's perhaps the only beach that we will swim in the sea. If, and Brancaster. Yeah, and Brancaster, yeah. Um, if, the, if the tide is out. You do have to keep an eye on, on the tides here though, because they don't come in it comes around you, uh, so you do have to be careful that you're uh, mindful of where the tide is coming in. So yes, we will carry on. We're heading this way to Hunstanton. We're going this way, are we? <laughs> We're going to Hunstanton. <laughs> So I'm now actually walking along one of the little estuaries where the, the tide will come in and see over, over to my left there is a larger sand, sand dune and the sea doesn't, doesn't usually come up and over that but it will, does come in and around and so this little little trickle along here you can see it's already is coming coming in from somewhere so these this whole area here will be underwater at some point watching me I'm watching you 
Aha. <laughs> So we'll, we'll wander over to the other side of the, the dunes there to see, to see the sea. And as, as we know, walking forward here, and get a better, of our, better idea of where the sea, or you know, where the tide will come in and around these higher sand dunes. actually look like little rivers and I can see by this one that we're now walking up to is is moving quite quickly so that they'll whether that's an indication that the tide is now now coming in or whether it's just the, the wind blowing because it is quite windy today How do you do? I'm fine, thank you. Fancy um, meeting you here. I don't know if you if you realise that someone's left a GoPro. <gasps> shall we nick it? Shall we nick yeah, it? Go on, go nick it. Oh, go nick it, shall I? Go nick it. <laughs> hey, you, put that GoPro back. <laughs> Robert now walked for it, so if Robert can do it, <laughs> I can do it. Different ones on. Oh, that is quite deep, isn't it? Get the camera on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> oh no, wet socks. Got some big deer prints here. They're really big. So this view is an indication of how vast an expanse this beach is. And there in the distance can see the sea. Beautiful sky and clouds again today. We are really lucky with our with our skies. With Norfolk being known for big skies. Beautiful. It's a rain shower coming. That is a beautiful view though. Beautiful. You can see over there, see all the wind farms. Actually we've got wind farms there. Wind farms right in front and wind farms over there as well. And I definitely think that rain is heading this way. <laughs> but... <laughs> rain are coming. But we're going to head into the woods and hopefully that will be a little less windier in there too. Holcomb Bay is a brilliant place, place to come with, with kids because not only do they have all that space on the beach to, to play, they can also, which we'll see once we go into these woodland parts here, 
the woods are brilliant as well because we've got it's like hills and dips and sometimes you find the odd swing and you <laughs> walking into the dark dark woodlands <laughs> looks a bit a bit creepy we're going from the lovely blue into the dark unknown you see I don't know if the camera actually picks it up but you can see all the all the little hills and mounds it's also a great place for, to to do um, bike riding get a lot of people come on their mountain bikes Something strange walking through the woodlands. Actually, Robert is blended in quite well. You got some good camouflaging going on there, Robert. This wood mainly consists of pine trees. Never resist going off, off the main track. Beautiful how that sun is just shining through the trees there. make my way back onto the main path again. And see Robert sitting on a tree stump. I don't think he's seen me. <laughs> so apart from the, you can hear the, the tide or hear the sea in the distance but apart from apart from that oh an occasional voice it's really calm had a few little birds some scurrying from the squirrels you can see as evidence of lots of squirrels and also there. There's always a high chance to capture a glimpse of a dare. We've already already seen prints on the on the beach. Big prints actually, so I don't know what what day they are. It's definitely a lot warmer in the trees out of that wind. That wind was was pretty keen. Getting to the stage of being quite bitter on your fingertips and your face. probably see from how my hair is not blowing there's literally no no wind here in the woods so Robert has now taken himself off on a different pathway This is, uh, as I've said before, how we like to go off the beaten track on a lot of walks. And, and this is an ideal one to be able to do that because there are tracks everywhere. 
depending on how how fit and adventurous you feel. Because sometimes you'll take yourself off on a path and you'll realise that you are right in a dip. So you then got to climb, climb your way out and sort of like see, walking down this path I've got on either side, the banks are higher. Right, I'm going to see if I can cut through and meet up with Robert, wherever he is. Nice big log to sit on and because we've got our our little pads to sit on, keep your bottoms warm and dry. So we're just gonna sit and have, have a little break, a little got coffee. Little coffee. And a little something to eat. Warbler Trail. I don't know how accessible this will be. The amount of water on the marshes. It's quite spongy underfoot. You can hear it squelch, squelch, squelch. <laughs> jump, Robert, jump! <sighs> oh, that smells! <laughs> Sound like right they're laughing. <laughs> laughing geese. I think I'm going to sink. He's wanting me to go first. Somebody's already gone. Right, I'm going to put it on you. There we go. There you go, Robert. I think that maybe the trick is to push some of the, the reeds down. Walk on the reeds. Uh-oh. That's what... What other people oh what other people have done. Oh great <laughs> <laughs> no help. Uh, I'll just have to go for it. Ah <laughs> See she <laughs> Yeah, he got a bit wet. This remote <laughs> little house here in the middle of the woods. I would like a, a little house away from away from everywhere. And view if there are people that still live in there now. It looked a bit looked quite quiet. I don't know if anybody's actually living there at this moment. It might just be like a holiday home or something. Um, but what a cracking place to have a view across across there and then just the the woodlands. 
perfect until it gets dark. <laughs> well, we're just following the main path now. So if you didn't, didn't want to take yourself off through the woods or onto the beach, you could just park up and follow the main path to Burnham Stace and beyond, depending on how far you want to, to walk. We're not too far away from the car park now. Um, the car park, because it's on privately owned land, so it belongs to the Holcomb estate, there is a car park fee. Uh, it's £3.50 for up to two hours, and then it jumps to £6.50 for up to four hours. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's not a cheap, cheap car park but you know you can spend all day and in, in the summer you spend all day here oh there's the deer is the one just sitting there the one two i don't know what that is yeah because uh so yeah for six pound fifty you can spend all day all day here and it it is a a big car park it's just down like a, a grove, so we park on either side, and then in the summertime they have a overflow car park, and it does get busy in the summertime. I mean, it's busy now, because uh, like I said uh, before, you get a lot of people come here and do their bird watching. Um, so yeah, if you want. To